Today, I will tell you about CORS policy, cross-origin resource sharing, when the website call API to another domain server that enables strict origin domain policy. This is a project that I've created by React.js. Then, I'll create a button. When user clicks on this button, we will call API to another server. Those code lines, I call an API to Kiat Viet service, with base URL is another domain, and endpoint is connect slash token, I show the result log when call API. If success, it shows access token, if failed, it shows error code. For now, I run yarn start to deploy website and see. This is call API button, I'll press this button and see the result. System shows error like, blocked by CORS policy, because we call to another domain service. This policy is not new, almost developers know it, so I don't tell too much about this theory, if you would like to know more, you can check the link I share on video description. To deal with this issue, I create a proxy use library HTTP proxy middleware. The usage of this library, you can see here. To make sense. Ok, let's go. I'll go back the project, run terminal yarn add, HTTP proxy middleware. Just seconds then. I create a new file named setupproxy.js. I'll add the code. Create proxy middleware. Then adding endpoint, temporarily, let's fill it endpoint, then I'll update with the real API. Next one is base URL, on O, target, we'll put the URL, then Change origin is True. Sound good. Next step, I open package.json to update configuration for proxy. I will add home page and proxy fields on this file. The first is proxy. This is the link of service that we call API. That is base URL. Firstly, I will copy endpoint to set up proxy. and copy base URL to paste to target. After that, I will copy that base URL to package.json file to proxy field also. Home page, I'll leave it localhost because I haven't deployed it yet, we will update to new domain after hosting this website. That's all for making proxy and dealing with CORS proxy. If you have many endpoints, you can create one more app, use function like this, get product API for example. Finally, I'll go to app.js and change the way I call API. Just need to remove base URL because we did make proxy for that server. Now. I will try to press call API button and see the result. You can see the token here, we can make it. However, please notice that all policies are created to protect user, protect the website from leaking important information. As you see, in my case, the other users can see my secret key and client ID, so they can access to my database by calling API, especially the service that I'm using. They can stolen my database on third-party service, update all my information and in addition, they can remove all my database. In next video, 
I'll tell you about creating a cloud function to be security middleware for our service. If the API, that you used, doesn't have any credentials information, you can use this way, too simple, right? Thank you for listening and seeing my video.